Hello everyone and welcome back to today's video. Welcome back to episode 2 of Recreating High Pixel. Today we are once again not doing any coding. Apologies if you were waiting for that. Today we are going to be checking up and setting up our Bungie Cord backend system. So this is going to be the two Bungie Cord servers and all of the Spigot servers and we're going to connect them all together so they all work. And then in the next episode we are going to set up player balancing on them. And then in the fourth episode, we're actually going to start coding. So apologies for the delay, but we're going to go ahead and get started today. So things that I did, um, I made a folder on my desktop called Recreating High Pixel. This is where we're going to store all of the files for this video. So I'm going to do new, I'm going to do folder, and I'm going to call this BungieCore-1. And I'm going to use kind of the Mindplex theming and namings of naming like BungieCore1, BungieCore2, BungieCore3, etc. Lobby1, Lobby2, Lobby3, etc. So we have BungieCore1. We are going to have BungieCore2. 23. No, we don't have 23. We have two of them. And then I'm going to create lobby one through three. So we're going to have three lobbies. So lobby one, lobby two, and then we're going to create lobby three, just like that. And then we're going to have game one. So I'm probably, I don't exactly know what we're going to do for the game lobbies yet, but I'm, I'll say, well, why don't we say bed wars? So bed wars dash, bed wars lobby dash one. We're only going to have one Bed Wars lobby, and then a Bed Wars game dash one. Something like that, just to keep it even. Um, so, server jars and stuff we're using for this. We're going to use Waterfall for our Bungie Cord. It's just a little bit more optimized and stuff. And we are going to use Paper 1.8.8 for our Spigot servers, because remember, Hypixel is hosted on 1.8. Well, okay, technically it's hosted on 1.7.10 for a code base, but it's actually on 1.8 uh, uh, for versions allowed downloading and um, for allowed joining. So we're going to go ahead and download Bungie Cord or Waterfall. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and also download Legacy uh, Paper 1.8. Um, so we'll just scroll down here. Wait for stuff to load. Internet's a little slow today, so apologies for that. 1.8.8 download anyway. So now we have our two files. We got our Waterfall and our Paper. So for Paper, I'm going to set up our default server inside of Lobby. Um, so... In the end, to keep this all easy, all of our files, I'm just going to name server.jar. That way, when we move this onto a panel or whatever in the future, it actually will work. And same with a bungee cord. So how we're going to set this up to start is every server I'm going to create. I'm going to create one of each, and then I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste those files, change the names up and stuff, and then set up the connection. So there we go. Server.jar, just like that. Now, I do have a very cool script that I use um, for start.bat. So I'm just going to paste that in here. Pretty much what this does is it just literally, um, it names the title, whatever you want. I'm just going to say this is recreating high pixel. That's the title of the command prompt. It's going to select my correct Java version. It's going to get rid of any outdated warnings. It's going to set the RAM. I'll give it a gig and a half of RAM. And then it's going to start the server. In this case, it's going to be server.jar, not crap bucket. And then if the server needs to restart, it's not going to close the window. It's actually going to just keep it. Do you want to restart? Press Y for yes. So Pretty easy indeed. So if I go in and double click this in the Bungie cord, it's going to go in and start up and set up all of our Bungie cord stuff. And it's listening on 25577 by default. We don't want that. We're going to go into our config and we're going to change our default port to 25565. So 25565 because this is our Bungie cord. So we're going to go in and change this to that. And you can see our local lobby server. Default one they have is 25565. We're going to change this up. We'll go through that in a minute. Um, so I'm just going to change this to 25565. And then this is going to be 25567. Because remember, we're going to have that second Bungie Cord server. So that's going to be 25565 on a different IP, actually. So this can actually be 25566. Let me explain a little bit about how that Bungie Cord works. The IPs have to be different, but the ports have to be the same. So if we're running one Bungie on 25565, the other one will be running on a separate IP, but on 25565 as well. Um, so this one can be 25566, and we're just going to name this lobby-1, and we're going to make it capitalized. And we remember how many folders we have in here. We made three lobby folders, and then we're going to have the other two. So we're going to create three of these servers here. So this is going to be lobby-2, It's going to run on 25567, and then we're going to have lobby-3, which is going to run on 25568, just like that. We're going to change the name. And then we have one game server and two or one game server and one actual game uh, lobby server. So we're going to go ahead and paste in another one. And this is going to be a Bed Wars Lobby-1. Bed Wars Lobby-1, 25569. And then we're going to add one more. And that's going to be six, uh, that's going to be 70. And that's going to be Bed Wars Game-1, something along the lines of that. I think we named that correctly. Yep. 
So now we have our three lobbies, Bedwars Lobby, Bedwars Game. We are running on 25565. We are going to IP forward and we're going to force the default server, which is going to be, we're also going to change our default uh, from MD5 to my username there. There we go. And then we're going to go ahead and force the default priority of lobby one. So the reason why we're going to force the default priority is you can actually add multiple priorities here. Lobby dash two, lobby dash three. So it's going to select from one of these and it's actually going to balance the players automatically a little bit. Um, but we're going to use player balancer tomorrow uh, to go over how you actually set this type of stuff up. So we have lobby one, lobby two, lobby three, better with lobby one, better with game um one so that way we have this set up all the ports are different so now what i'm going to do is we have bungee cord one set up just like that i'm going to copy all these files and put it in bungee cord two that way regardless of what bungee cord is online at that point it's going to function in the same exact way that's one way how we handle these um round robin situations as long as the bungees are running exactly the same thing the player experience is going to be exactly the same thing they're just going to be connecting through a different bungee to your spigot server all right, now that we have done that, we are going to go to lobby one and we're going to use that same script we used over in Bungie Core. We're going to take that server.dat. We're going to go ahead and paste that in and we're going to go ahead and start the server. And of course, we're going to have to customize this a little bit more than we did over on the um, Bungie server. So we're going to enable the Lula just like this, switch this to true. Then we're going to go ahead and start up our server once again, let all the files generate. And then what we're going to do is we are going, obviously all the worlds are going to be the same right now because when we copy all these files over, every server world is going to be the same. But that's okay. We don't need to worry about that right now. We're going to go into our server.properties and then we're going to actually edit this so the online mode is false. So wherever online mode is in here, I never can find it correctly. There we go. Online mode false. And then remember, lobby one is 25566. So we'll go ahead and change that port there as well. And then we're going to go into the spigot.yml and change Bungie cord to true, just like that. So now it is set up to connect through Bungie, just like we did with Bungie cord. We're going to copy all of these files and go into lobby two and paste them. But this time we're going to go into server.cf or server.properties. CFG, we're not doing 5M. And inside of the server.properties, we're going to change it to 67 for lobby two. And then once again, go to lobby three, paste in all the files, go to your server properties file change the ip or port 67 so we're at 68 now and then those are our lobby set up and then we have bungee cord uh, bad bungee cord bedwars lobby which is six um nine i believe um so we're gonna go to server.properties edit with notepad plus plus change this to 25569 and then we have our bungee cord game world which we're gonna paste all these files into and change once again i opened the wrong file and change our server.properties to 25570. Um, Just like that. There we go. It is set up. Our Bungie Cord network is set up. We can connect on Spigot. We can connect into all of our servers. It's that easy. Now, obviously, our Bungie Cords aren't going to both turn on at the same time because they're running on the same port. But if we're on a dedicated server, you can set those to different IP addresses. But if you connect to either of them, they're going to connect you to the same Spigot server's running so either way the proxies are going to be um, multiple proxies for your server and all you have to do is start each one just to confirm everything works i'm just going to start lobby one and i'm going to start bungee cord one and then i'm going to go ahead and hop into the game and just make sure we are listening on 25565 perfect we're going to go ahead and start minecraft this is the world's largest launcher apparently so there we go we're going to go ahead and start minecraft java edition make sure we can connect to local host um, and as long as we show up in here, we know we are good to go. So let's go ahead and connect to localhost. UID of noodles YTE or BJG dev YTE is joined and I'm in the server. And you can see I've earned here. And if I type slash server, it has all of our servers there. Obviously the other ones aren't online, but they would be exactly the same as this one. We have created our Bungie Cord network. It is the first step toward getting our server core set up because once we have the servers, we can actually use them in the code. All right, so the next episode, we're going to install Player Balancer, which is one of our plugins that allows bal uh, balancing players across networks, which also has an API that we'll be using in the future coding videos. So that will be in the next episode. And then the episode after that, we will actually start coding the core, I promise. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I will see you next week for the next episode. Bye, everyone.